Now today's video, I'm going to be talking about Leangelo Ball. Just recently, he had a workout session with the Golden State Warriors. Also, the Warriors only had one pick throughout the entire draft, and that's the 28 pick in the first round. I just want to talk to you guys about Leangelo Ball's workout session and just give you guys my opinion on if the Warriors should decide to use their only pick on Leangelo Ball. Now, we all know the Warriors won the finals this year. And in my opinion, I feel like the Warriors had a successful season business-wise just because throughout the season, they signed Quinn Cook. He's a good backup point guard. As you can see, when Stephen Curry was down, Quinn Cook stepped up and helped his team. Also, the Warriors still managed to have a first round pick. So they planned out their season very well and they just had a successful season overall. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys. In my opinion, I feel like the Warriors would decide to draft Leangelo Ball just because we all know Leangelo Ball is a spot up shooter. He can shoot the ball very well. And I feel like they will put him under their system. We all know the Warriors, this team is nothing but shooters. They love to shoot the ball. And they know Leonzo Ball, he's capable of being a spot up shooter and he's very consistent with his shot. If they put him in their system, they can really make Leonzo Ball effective because you already know Stephen Curry, he can get his teammates open all the time. If they can get Leonzo Ball open in the corner or something like that and knock down that three, this could be a steal for the Warriors. And I understand why a lot of people really don't like Leonzo Ball just because they feel like he's a bad overall player. And it makes sense why people say that just because his ball handling is kind of bad and his footwork is bad too. It's just like, I understand why people say he's a bad overall player, but you got to understand if Leonzo Ball gets drafted by the right team, they can literally have him as a straight spot up shooter. They can make him very effective by running plays around him and getting him wide open shots as it's coming around the pick and roll and pulling up for a three. When you look at the type of shot Leonzo Ball has, he can shoot the ball very fast and he can shoot it from anywhere on the court. And it's understandable why LeVar Ball is saying Leonzo Ball can give you a 40 point game anytime he wants. I understand everybody just like, man, whatever. But if you really watch Leonzo Ball throughout high school and when he played in Lithuania, I see why LeVar Ball say that just because when he gets hot, he is hot. This man is unstoppable. Like literally, Leonzo Ball really is unstoppable when he's hot. He can shoot the ball extremely well. Like he can come up the court and just pull it in your face and he will make that and he will stay consistent with it. So I see why LeVar Ball be saying Leonzo Ball is the best scorer because literally when he's hot, he's not missing. And I literally witnessed that. So I'm not saying Leonzo Ball always take good shots. Sometimes he take very bad shots. But the thing I love about Leonzo Ball is that he's not afraid to shoot the ball and he's just not afraid and I look at it as a good thing I know some people can look at it as a bad thing honestly it is a good and bad thing it's like a wild card look at it like J.R. Smith we all know J.R. Smith he can shoot the ball but sometimes he take bad shots some games he make his bad shots and other games he can shoot extremely bad I see the same thing in Leandro Ball some games he can take bad shots but still be consistent and other games he can take good shots and not make his shots you know what I mean like it's like a wild card thing literally when you watch J.R. Smith play I see the same thing as Leandro Ball and I know everybody probably looking at it like what but it's a good comparison it really is a good comparison because they have similar game i'm gonna be honest with you guys leonzo ball is very capable of getting drafted and do not be surprised don't be surprised if the warriors end up drafting him for their only pick i just explained to you guys how he can fit in their organization and be a spot up shooter and not even just the warriors he can do the same thing for the lakers or other teams that feel confident in him also he said if he don't get drafted he'll just try for a summer league team if the summer league don't work out then he'll just go to the g league and work from there so we just got to see what's going to happen but i thank you guys for watching if you make sure you like and subscribe make sure you press that notification button ticket game we out